booktube welcome back i'm winx and the ink i'm talking about today is not actually a friday reads because i haven't really read much this last week but instead i'm going to do a mini book haul and some general friday updates also apologies in advance i know i'm a little tired looking i am just coming out of a fibromyalgia flare um, that i've had the last few days but i am actually feeling a lot better so Yay. Uh, also, I know my voice is a little bit more raspy than usual. Hopefully you can understand what I'm saying and I don't know, maybe this is giving some extra ASMR feels for some of you out there and then it's just a bonus. Uh, but if I'm harder to understand, apologies. Anyways, um, if you saw my video from Monday, it was a vlog of my weekend. I had a really, really fun weekend. It was Jess's birthday weekend. There was a book signing at Powell's for one of my all-time favorite authors. And it was Pride weekend in Portland, so it was just all kinds of stuff. I had so many plans, um, and that's partly why I had the fibromyalgia flare, because I did a lot of really fun things, but that took a lot of energy. Uh, but yeah, it was really fun. And while I was at Powell's for the book signing, I got a couple new books. So the first of which is Lockdown by Laurie R. King, and it was in fact Laurie R. King who was there for the book signing. Um, this book just got released, so she's doing her tour for it, and she is also the author of the Mary Russell Sherlock Holmes book series, which I've talked about many times on here, um, and it's this prominent shelf right here is all of my Mary Russell books. So um, yeah, I'm a huge fan and I love getting to see her whenever she comes into town. This is not a Mary Russell book. This is just a standalone mystery novel. I don't read a ton of mystery books, but I love Laurie R. King's writing. Um, I feel like she's just really talented at writing mystery books um, and her style is just something that I get into really easily. So I just always pick up her books when she writes new ones. This is no exception. So yes, I was very excited to go and see her and I got my autograph here going on. Yes, very exciting. I also brought in um, three other books for her to sign. I brought um, the um, short story collection for the Mary Russell books, um, Oh Jerusalem, which is actually the fifth book in the series, but it's one of my favorite books in the series. Um, and then I brought in Echoes of Sherlock Holmes, which is an anthology that Laurie R. King uh, co-edited. So um, yeah, I was very, very pleased. The other book I got on this pals trip was not by Laurier King, it's a um, journal, it's one of those Q&A a day journals and this one is specifically for writers. I thought it was extra cute, it looks kind of like a typewriter on the front here. Um, and it has 365 questions for creative exploration. So each day it gives you a writing prompt, there's just that page with some lines on it for you to um, fill in the blank and it seems like a really fun way to make sure that I'm writing something every day for myself. That's not just like for work, it's so um, I can make sure that I'm writing something for myself each day. And so the prompts are things like, pick a word at random from a dictionary. How does its definition relate to your day, if at all? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just, it just seemed really cute. So I'm very excited. I haven't actually started it yet, but um, hopefully I will start that later this week. So that's all I had for my mini haul. As far as updates go, I will give you a little Friday Reads update, and that's just that I am still working on The Dark Elf Trilogy by R.A. Salvatore. I'm currently on the second book, which is Exile. Um, I, I just really, really love the first book. The second book I started, but then I immediately got really busy with different projects, and my weekend reading time was spent doing all of this adventuring, which I don't regret at all. It was so much fun. Um, yeah, and then Book Bath Boxes starting to amp up a little bit. However, I did pick up the audio version of Exile, so um, I'm going to hopefully listen to that while I do some work on Book Bath Box, and that should help me move forward a bit with my reading progress. Then I had two other main things that I wanted to talk about, first of which is the vlog that I posted on Monday. Um, I've done a couple of vlog videos before for readathons, but they were a very different style. Um, in those videos, I just basically did little sit-down recordings at different points throughout the day to update you on my progress. This video, very simply put, was just clips throughout the day that I added music and a voiceover to, but 
I had so much fun making it. It was just really, really fun. And it seemed like you all enjoyed watching it. I received a lot of really nice comments on it, um, which was really great to see. So I'm going to try and do a little bit more of this type of video, I think. I do some lifestyle videos in general, though I usually try to connect it in some way to books like bookish beverages or um, the headphones and hobbies videos that I've done. Um, they're really not bookish in nature, but I, there's a very thin connection, uh, whereas this video was pretty much just a video of my day. So um, yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think about that. I'm definitely not going to stop doing book videos because like, why? Why would I do that? I love books. I love making videos about them. It's going to keep going. Um, but it would be really fun to add in some extra videos of that sort. Um, I've also been really into this one particular channel lately, and I can't remember the name of the channel right now, although the host is named Jessica, and um, her vlog videos is actually what inspired me to try this style a vlog that I did for Monday, but she's also done a lot of videos about um, disabilities and living with chronic illnesses and stuff, and it's made me kind of wonder if I should make some similar videos about fibromyalgia. So um, I don't know exactly what that would entail, but it's something that I'm kind of percolating on, and again, I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, also, I'm going to link a video of hers. Um, up top down below such things because she did this amazing video where she explained spoon theory using the sims so cool right so um yeah i'm gonna you should go check that out especially if you are not familiar with spoon theory it's educational and nerdy it's everything it's great so basically vlogs and lifestyle videos are on the horizon in addition to my normal bookish content the other thing I wanted to talk about is my podcast. If you missed my announcement about this last week, I have officially started a podcast with my good friend Adrian Tilly. The podcast is called Marshmallow and Mimosa, and it's it's been really, really fun. The general premise behind it is that Adrian and I are both sort of nerdy, entrepreneurial ladies, and we always have a good time talking together, and... We both wanted to try making podcasts. So the episodes are going to be sort of a mixture of us talking about whatever things we are geeking out about at the moment, plus just our current projects, life lessons, um, funny stories, and hopefully some good advice if you are wanting to pick up some sort of new creative project or just trying something new in general. It's all good. Um, and then of course we're just going to talk about like our cats and fun, cute things. Yeah, it's going to be good. Our second episode went out on Wednesday, and I think we're now starting to get our groove now that we have a few under our belt. Uh, we'll be recording another one later today, and I'm really excited about it. Our first episode is sort of an intro, talks about the projects that we work on, some of the things that inspire us, and we tangented off into Dungeons and Dragons, and there were like three stories that I started telling and then got completely distracted and never finished super high quality. Uh, the second episode I prepped for a little bit more, so um, that one we talked about social media, how we interact with it on um, a business level and on a just general social level, making internet friends and such. We also talked about failure and I told a few embarrassing stories and Adrian talked a little bit about her philosophy on failure and we have some really good topics lined up for the next few episodes, talking about self-care and productivity hacks and just putting yourself out there and trying new things. Yeah, it's I, I'm really excited for it. So hopefully you all will enjoy this and we would love to hear some feedback. So if you would like to give a listen, you can go to marshmallowandmimosa.com. We are also on iTunes and we are working on getting set up on Google Play and Stitcher. We're having a little bit of issues with the latter two. Hopefully it will be resolved soon. Um, I also have made us a YouTube channel, so you can check that out, subscribe. We'll have all of the episodes up on YouTube. And in addition to listening to it, you can look at some of Adrienne's adorable artwork because she makes all the artwork and it's really, really cute. So if any of that sounds interesting to you and you want to listen to us talk for a while, give it a listen, leave us some feedback, comments, ratings, etc., etc. It would mean a lot to both of us while we try to figure out what's working and what's not and what we can improve on. And I think that's all the updates that I had to talk about. Um, between the allergies and the fibro flare, I think I'm a little bit all over the place in this video, but hopefully it's all making sense and was in some way entertaining to you. 
I would love to hear your thoughts on any of it down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope you're all having a great start to the weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye!